Many Muslims in Western countries may not be aware that Prophet Muhammad had concubines and engaged in intimate relations with them. They often believe that he encouraged the freeing of slaves and that Islam is against slavery. However, the reality of Islam presents a more complex picture that contradicts this belief. Sunan an Nasai number 3959. Chapter Jealousy. It was narrated from Anas that the Messenger of Allah had a female slave with whom he had intercourse. But Aisha and Hafsa would not leave him alone until he said that she was forbidden for him. Then Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, revealed, O Prophet, why do you forbid for yourself that which Allah has allowed to you? This hadith suggests that Prophet Muhammad not only engaged in the practice of enslaving women, but also had intimate relations with them, which caused feelings of anger and jealousy in Aisha and Hafsa. This indicates a lack of loyalty toward wives within Islamic marriage, implying that, according to Muhammad, wives do not deserve the loyalty of their husbands. Prophet Muhammad not only taught Muslims to enslave women, he also allowed Muslims to sell their female slaves in slave markets. Sunan Ibn Majah 2517 We used to sell our slave women and the mothers of our children, or Umahat Awaldina, when the Prophet was still living among us and we did not see anything wrong with that. Notice this sentence, we used to sell our slave women. This information definitely contradicts the notion that Islam promotes the liberation of slaves. What these Muslims did is exactly the opposite. They used these women as sex slaves, and when they didn't want them anymore, they sold them for money. The second type of woman sold in the slave market is Umahat Awaldina which refers to female slaves who are sexually exploited by their Muslim masters until they become pregnant, then giving birth to children for their Muslim masters. However, the Muslim master heartlessly sells this woman in the slave market even though she is the mother of his own children. Astaghfirullah! This is truly barbaric, yet this horrific act was apparently not forbidden by Prophet Muhammad. When Umar was in power, he prohibited this practice, but Prophet Muhammad allowed it. Islam legalizes the enslavement of women, treating them as sex objects, using their bodies to bear children, and then, when they are no longer needed, selling them off in the slave market. Such vile teachings clearly come from Satan who hates human beings, especially women.